DP! You are not doing it as if you want to take over power. This is how Peter Obi outsmarted Wiki's PDP to carve a niche for himself in the Nigerian political space. Peter Obi, popularly known as Obident, as the people call him, has shown Nigerians how smart he was to tender a resignation letter to PDP in respect of his political ambition. It is no news that Peter Obi left PDP to Labour Party where he can properly set himself to be the president of Nigeria. But trust me, Nigerians are not ready for him yet. The earlier we realize this, the earlier every one of you realizes, the better it will be for us. Peter Obi has been in the face of Nigerians after he gave an insightful speech few years back which was covered by Channels TV before the 2023 election was even dreamt of. We have no reason to be in Abuja. They consider their problem to the traveling public. They follow me to Abuja. I'm the one who is going to go to a meeting. Because the idol and their hotel, they eat more. So I have a lot of bills to pay. In the end, Every trip was costing me, every trip was costing me over 10 million. One trip. And there are times I do this four or five times in a month. After about the third or fourth trip, I sat down and said, I want you to write the name of everybody from me and tell me why and what is the purpose of this person going to be in Abuja. What did they do? When they finish, I found out the only person that needs to go to Abuja is me. So I said to them, leave it, because some of you must have heard, hey, hey Peter will be traveling on his own, he's carrying his bag. I'm a young man, I can carry my bag. What is the, the proposition? We had almost 15 drivers in Abuja. When I'm at the airport, everybody's there. Because it's creating confusion. I said, listen, we need three drivers in Abuja. The rest will either have to go and look for work or come to Oka. We don't live in Abuja and everything. Several politicians were quick to play the political game by debunking the myth of why Peter Obi left PDP. Peter Obi leaving the party, it was surprising to me, and I know, but he does. There's no way he would have won the presidential uh, primary. Can Peter Obi? be trusted by a typical casino man. The LP, when it, as it stands today, certainly it cannot win the election. The reason OB left PDP was because they outplayed him. To further his ambition, he has granted invitations to various TV and radio stations to air his view about how he can fix things, mostly especially in the country's power sector, which led him to travel to Egypt to see how they upgraded their electricity usage over the years. This country, well, that's why it's so painful. The first time this country borrowed money was in 1964. 82 million dollars to generate 760 megawatts of electricity. 58 years after, we're doing 4,000. South Africa is generating 54,000. We're 200 million. They are 60 million. Between 2015 and 2021, Egypt have been able to double their own from 26,000 plus to 55,000. It cost Egypt about 10 billion dollars to generate almost 20,000 megawatts. We are owing 120 billion. Let's say, I told you before about Tefa Balawa. Tefa Balawa used 1 billion today's money to generate 1,000. We are owing 120 billion. Assuming we use a third, a third of that money, you're talking about infrastructure, to invest in power, we would have been doing 40,000 megawatts today. So where is the 120 billion? It was consumed. That's why servicing it has become impossible. I'm appealing to people to vote to save Nigeria. And to save Nigeria is to hire the best. I don't want people to vote for me because I'm from the Southeast. 
I don't want people to vote for me because I'm from south, south, southwest, or northwest, or northeast, or north central. I don't want to go there and start giving excuses. The job of a leader is not to give excuses, it's to solve a problem. I don't want to be one of those who will be hired, and when I go there, I start reminding them of where they're coming from. Let me tell you why people are against the removal of subsidy. People are against removal of anything because whenever it's been done, they did not see the benefit with the privatization. We didn't see the benefit. What we did is that we privatized profits, socialized losses. I have said that subsidies are scam, and I still maintain it. So we have to look at it. How much are we importing? Who is consuming it? Why are we going to keep this? And there's so many scams all over the place, including the cost of governance. We're going to look at it. It's not going to be a business as you am going, and that is why, why people are telling you, oh, it's good as the economy, it's not good as this, it's not that good, because they know that if I'm at the number one position, I'll be able to say, no, you can't continue with this. So they want a situation where it will continue, but let Peter be, be here. So if I'm qualified to be vice president, I'm qualified to be president. Please and please and please, vote wisely. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Real good.